I serve veggie burgers? I can serve anything on the menu. Oh, this man has assaulted so many people just out of ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> he girl. finds a new way every day. Every time he just physically assaulted this young woman right here. Just out of ignorance, man. With food. With food. <laughs> We're going to change the world. Here's your burger. <laughs> I hate myself right now. It's like the same gag, too. It's like he threw it again. Yes, they threw food you, at the lady. Exactly. Do you understand that we've seen just two gags that are not even real jokes? He's just throwing buns and meat and fries at people. Look. <laughs> why the f are we la why are we do why are we laughing at this? Comedy is so complex. Then this ain't comedy. Because ain't, no co <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing complex about this, man. He just threw a hamburger at a woman. <laughs> <laughs> See that? He's got those greasy arms, man. <laughs> December 8th, that's a Friday. That have been eagerly anticipated. None were anticipated so much as Good Burger 2. Home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? I mean, this... <laughs> This was rumored to, to, to be happening years ago. Decades. Decades ago, and people just kind of gave up on it. I mean, it almost became sort of this, this urban legend about there being a good burger too. People were so anticipating this movie right here that even though some gave up on it ever happening again because some people say it was, you know, good burger was just so great. It was just a fad though. It, no, 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 no. People don't say no. They, good burger was amazing. <laughs> Good Burger, they said, some people said, you know what, I don't even think they can top that, so why why would they want to do a Good Burger too? But other people out there, they believed in this. They kept the, they kept it alive saying, no, it's happening. Just, uh, just give it time. And by God, yesterday, the movie that we all had been waiting for, it dropped without a lot of people even knowing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot it of just people came out. Yeah, a lot of people said, "Did you know Good Burger Two exists?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not it came out. Did you know it exists? <laughs> right. And it's, it is here, y'all. It's something I've been waiting for for a long time. A long time, as we all have. <laughs> Thank God that day is here, man. You know what? You know what I'm thankful for. What today is today is Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for Good Burger Two, man. Me too. Or am I? <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. R, R, R. Is this something that we did not need at all? <laughs> Who needs a sequel anyway? Not really. And that's not, a lot of sequels aren't exactly needed, but some people say Good Burger was definitely not needed. <laughs> ah, do I disagree? Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, trailer for the continuing adventures of Ed and Dexter. As the Good Burger employees, you know, they've gone on with their lives. Uh, Dexter has stopped working at Good Burger and he's gone on to pursue his own business. And meanwhile, Ed, who loves Good Burger, well, he's remained in the burger business, even owns his own Good Burger place right now. The Good Burger. The Good Burger place. That's the problem. <laughs> You know, it's, those burgers are so good. Somebody wants to make a franchise. With that sauce. With that special sauce. Ed says, I don't know if I want to do that. You know, this, this one good burger is so pure. I don't want to dilute that. But evil corporations being what they are, mm -hmm. they are going to try to get their way one way or another. Even if it means through nefarious means and taking advantage of a kind, pure-hearted spirit and dumbass such as this Ed right here. <laughs> oh, can Ed keep the good burger without diluting that with a bunch of franchises out there that are meant to only make money and exploit the good burger? Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer and uh, I will be back. Well, we'll be back with our review. The new adventures of Ed and Dex starts now. Oh, oh. oh not a damn thing has changed. <laughs> so all these years, they're still the same. Serve veggie burgers? I can serve anything on the menu. Oh, yeah, this man has assaulted so many people just out of ignorance. <laughs> he finds girl. a new way every day. Every time he just physically assaulted this young woman right here. Just out of ignorance, man. With food. <laughs> With food. <laughs> Hong Kong is not a city. It's the name of an ape. King Kong. The game with the paddles? Ping pong. The sound of doorbell man. Ding dong. What? We shut down. <laughs> 
I'm mad, man, because I'm like, I should not be laughing at this yeah, shit. I'm, you are. I'm, I'm mad as hell. I'm mad right now. I'm, I'm disappointed with myself. I can't even look at myself right now. I'm looking at myself right now. You shut the f up. I'm just. Dumps. <laughs> Any other movie, man, I'd be mad as hell. I'm mad right now. I should not be even like, I should not even be smirking at this. <laughs> should be just looking down at it. I'm looking down on myself right now. <laughs> Look who you become. Shut it down! You're going to change the world. Here's your burger. <laughs> I hate myself right now. It's like the same gag, too. It's just, like he threw it again. Just, they threw food at the lady. Exactly. Do you understand that we've seen just two gags that are not even real jokes? He's just throwing buns and meat and fries at people. Look. <laughs> why the f are we la why are we do why are we laughing at this comedy is so complex then this ain't comedy because ain't, no co <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing complex about this man he just threw a hamburger at a woman <laughs> see that he's got those greasy arms man <laughs> yeah man <laughs> Got got them damn Vaseline arms right here. <laughs> Shiny. He got that old them old black grandmother arms, man. You know how your grandmother get ashy, she just put that Vaseline on, just let it stay there. Black grandmothers are like when they get to be around 70s to 80 years old, they just shiny all the time, man. That's what he looks like. <laughs> they shine like Julian Green. <laughs> and yeah. In fact, he looked, I'm looking at him right here. He looks like an old black grandmother. Like, like he he does have some moments where he looks a little bit crook keeper-ish. He looks like, again, I said this when we watched the trailer before, and I don't mean any disrespect, but there's a lot of black people out there that got aunties that look like this, man. <laughs> you know that aunt, that, that black aunt that's like 60 years old, but she's still trying to look like she's 20? <laughs> <laughs> that's what he looked like right there. Burger. Whoa. What, what do you want me to say? Good burger, too. All right, I mean, you know, it's, it's the movie, I'm gonna tell you what this movie is like. The movie, it's like a fever dream. No, the movie is like the movie is like Ed. Okay, the movie is so it, it's just so dumb. You have to accept him like he is. Mm -hmm. But unlike Ed, the movie knows how dumb it is. I mean, yeah. what you what do you what do you want me to say? I feel kind of right out I, the gate. I, I feel, it lets you know. I just feel silly talking about this. I just think, you know because it's 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 not Good Burger. It's Good Burger Two. <laughs> so you know exactly what the hell you're getting into. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, if you saw the first Good Burger, you either gonna watch this or not. This one of those movies that is so stupid that I mean, and and, and is aware how stupid it is, and it's not ashamed of itself. So it doesn't give a if you watch it or not. It's nope. for the people who like the first one. And if you like, if you're here for the second one, then you know exactly what you're getting into. No one can claim ignorance. No. Going and into it, Good Burger 2. And it stays true to itself right out the gate and the whole time. It, no, you're right. The movie, because it's one of those movies, man, we've seen We've seen a movie that's just so dumb and stupid, and they know what they're doing, that they don't, They just don't embrace their stupidity. They dive in, and they they, they just roll in it. They just <laughs> wallow in it, man. They just rub the, they race, they, they rub the face in it, man. You know, it's, it, 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 it went, again, with no shame. It's Good Burger and Good Burger 2. They are one of those rare films, man, that, you know, again, it's, it, 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 is, it is a certain type of humor. It is ridiculous. It's stupid. It's silly. Uh, it's full aware of how silly it is that, uh, you know, it's a, it, it's, it is very much for a specific audience, usually kids. But furthermore, with Good Burger 2, the thing with that, it's not like the first Good Burger. Good Burger 1 asks you to go out of, out of its way for this stupid shit. You had to drive to the theater. You know, you had to pay th the ticket price and pay like $100 for concession and all that. <laughs> Good Burger 2, they're not asking you to do anything at all, man. It, all they're asking you to do is have Paramount Plus. It's not asking for anybody to go to the theater. It's not even asking for my opinion. It wasn't shown for critics. <laughs> of course not. They didn't give a <laughs> what I got to say. You know, <laughs> Like Ed and Dexter, they could, they could care less what I have to say. So I might even, it might even bring it down to... Why are we reviewing this then? Why am I talking about this if I'm saying this? If I'm saying this is like critic proof and there's no use in talking about it, it knows what it is and, and people who want to see it know what it is. Why are we talking about this? One, well, nothing is above criticism. 
First of all, especially this, especially no, nothing is above criticism. I don't care how much you know what you're doing. Are you aware what you're doing? But also, I saw the first one. We had a great movie roast about it. So I feel kind of obligated to continue to see what these guys are up to. Yeah. And I'm just curious, too. After seeing the first one, my big thought was I had to see this because I was thinking, what the f- are you going to do with a Good Burger 2? And I don't think that they go beyond your expectations of what a sequel to Good Burger could be. It, it's definitely one of those movies that is like, yep, sequelitis is a thing. You here for it or not? After watching this, there are some things that I can say about this as as silly. And yes, I'm going to use this word again, as stupid as this movie is. I still compare it to some other movies that are similar. And I said, you know what? I can see why this movie has its fan base. Because this could have been something like, do you remember The Pest with John Lequizamo? <laughs> I've seen clips, yeah. Yo, what's up, Free? He's the Sultan of Scam. I mean it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the, the reason why I bring up The Pest is because The Pest is also a movie that's silly. That's also stupid. It's a it's aware of how stupid it is, and it embraces it. It's got that live action Looney Tunes thing going for yeah, it. Yeah, he's trying. Yeah, John Leguizamo was definitely trying to be a Bugs Bunny type character. But the the, the difference between this movie and uh, and something like uh, Good Burger is that the pest. When you watch this, it just seems like and I'm not. I, I can't say for sure, but it seemed like it's this movie where uh, everybody enjoys being silly in it they enjoy entertaining themselves. It's like they just kind of laugh. This is like a person that laughs at their own jokes. Mm-hmm. This is like the class clown that finds his own self funny when, you know, when he's really annoying the shit out of everyone. <laughs> um, which can be, an, when, you know, when I saw this movie, that was annoying to me. Uh, that, you know, and it's also, they're just doing anything for a laugh. Oh, yeah. But, and I feel, again, I feel crazy saying this about Good Burger too. But listen, just hear me out, y'all. It seemed like Everybody cared. <laughs> you know, what about the first one? No, well, the first one ended with this one. It seemed like as bad as, you know, some people might see this, it seemed like they actually cared. You know. Uh, oh, you mean the filmmakers? Yeah, the filmmakers. Yeah. And the, the filmmakers, the actors, everybody involved seemed like they cared. It's like they, they, <laughs> what? I'm talking about this like this is some deep shit. It's not. All right. But it seems like they care about this world. It seems like they care about these characters, especially, uh, you know, uh, uh, Dell. I mean, uh, not Dexter and, uh, and and Ed. Yeah. You know, Kel. What is a uh, Kel Mitchell it, and Keenan Thompson. Yeah, and Keenan Thompson as uh, as as Dexter. Man, it man. It, these two guys seem like they really do like these characters, man. And I think that the movie, for what it's worth, they do a good job of continuing the legacy of these characters and keeping them in line with the first movie. Like, yeah, uh, Keenan Thompson's character Dex. He's still a greedy guy. Ed. Idiot, you know, <laughs> it's, it, that's what they you're right. That's what they play on. They play. One of the things that works well with this movie is that they play on the classic formula of the straight guy and the lovable dumbass. Mm-hmm. And that's that that is a tried and true formula that, you know, no one's asking for them to change it. And for some reason, when they did that with Good Burger, it worked. You think I can get a job at Good Burger? I'm putting a good word to Mr. Jess. That's not soap, by the way. It's maple syrup. Why? You know, <laughs> you know the, the flustered straight guy? Why you? <laughs> Why would you do you? You know, it's it's the, it's the something that we just love, man. And they're good at it, man. They are. Both of them have excellent comedic timing. And even if one of the jokes that like Ed does makes you roll your eyes, man, Kenan Thompson would have a response that would make me laugh. Yeah, you know, they no, they they would, man. I mean, uh, and I'll explain later. You know, listen, who am I to complain about the, not just physical humor, but dumb physical humor, you I know? Serve veggie burgers? I can serve anything on the menu. <laughs> you, you know, the, all this, a lot of people find it annoying. I'd be a hypocrite. I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't laugh at this woman getting hit in the face with a hamburger. Here's your burger. <laughs> I mean, you know, that who am I to sit up there and criticize that when one of my favorite things I love to watch is this. Yeah, I love I love violent, abusive, physical humor, man. You know, it's just it's just something that I'm into. You know, I and, and you know, when I watch this, it's a throwback to that, man. <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> this kind of stuff. Who, who am I to sit up here and criticize? What I my, one, one of my favorite things is, is the Three Stooges, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, Classic. Yeah, you, uh, uh, you, yeah, man. All those, all those. Uh, Real, uh, very physical comedies. Even a little bit of Abbott and Costello. Abbott and Costello, you know, they were always, you know, he, uh, uh, Abbott was always slapping Costello around. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why'd you do that? You know, it's uh, I love that kind of stuff, man. So I look at this and as far as I'm concerned, it's kind of a throwback to that classic kind of comedy, which is not for everybody. Yeah. And there. I would even, to get a little bit more modern, it it really nailed the tone of that show all that. Which is something that I'm. I realized watching this, it's like, damn, I've I've never felt so nostalgic watching a movie. Yeah. I was like, this this is really capturing that that live action SNL for kids type of thing. Yeah, they even have some of the characters from uh, mm-hmm. from uh, 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 all that show up. What was this character's name? Uh, let me see. I had it written down. This is Lori Beth uh, Denberg reprising her role of Connie Maldon. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I look at that, man. and uh, Which, when she showed up, my jaw dropped. I was like, oh, shit, there she is. Yeah. Where have you been? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, yeah, every, everybody in here seemed to really to really care about these characters. And as dumb as the story is, you know, just staying consistent to what people liked about the first one, whether you hated it or not. Uh, and I can say, yeah, I understand the people that look at this and say, this is just too stupid for me. I can't watch this. And of course it is. Of course it is. You know, I'd be like, if I showed this to my mother, she'd take me and throw me into the TV. Would not make it two minutes in. No, no. She'd tell me to sh- not only just, not, not, not only cut the movie off, get the f*** my house. And she would see you watching the beginning of this and going, I knew I should never let you watch Sesame Street. Those <laughs> damn puppets poison your mind. She'd look at me and says, I never should have had you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn, all this talking about, I haven't eaten today. Mm. I was talking about burgers. <laughs> it's mm. making me hungry. <laughs> Let's hear it. Come on. I'm, I'm waiting for that good segue. <laughs> Looking at you like uh, like Dex in the first one. Hey, what's that goo? What do you got there? <laughs> oh, just a little Hello Fresh. Over here for you. <laughs> oh, hey, listen. Is this talk about hamburgers and good burgers making you hungry? But you're like, I can't cook. Well, you know, that's where America's number one meal kit. They got you, man. Don't worry about it. You can't cook. You will now. (laughs) And that is because with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, you're going to be so proud of yourself. How you went in here and made this meal, even though you probably have no cooking experience at all. Because they make it easy for you. And especially now, today's Thanksgiving as we're recording this. uh, But... We also have Christmas coming up. Mm-hmm. You know, you're gonna have some, 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 some family coming by. Definitely some friends coming by. Uh, you're gonna be, you know, you want to be a good host. And you know what? HelloFresh has you, man. Listen, if it's just a small dinner for some people, or you have a party going on, they got you. But let's talk about dinner first. Let's talk about <laughs> the meal that you that was ta- that was telling you, yes, that even you can cook. It's easy because with HelloFresh, you get. Very fresh ingredients that are already portioned out, sent right to your door. All you have to do is look at the instructions and just put it all together. And it's not that hard. Trust me. Trust me. I've seen Adam, the guy living with me. Mm -hmm. I've seen him almost burn a house down. He was at one of my parties. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, he almost burned my place down just by being here. So when he started cooking, I was like, oh, this is I'm not going to have a home after this. And you have bad luck with roommates cooking. But not with HelloFresh. Uh-huh. <laughs> because now he cooks nothing but HelloFresh down oh, there. Nice. Yeah. And not only does he not burn my house down, but because everything is portioned out, everything is clear cut, there's hardly any mess. My kitchen is clean when he's done. All that prep done for you. Done for you. And also, time saves you time. Whenever you're getting ready for that big party, that big meal, whatever you're cooking, a lot of times you have to go to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. You have to stand in line, especially during the holidays when those lines are long. You walk through those aisles and there's 50 different options. Not with HelloFresh. You get the options, but you don't have to worry about those lines because, as I said, it's all sent to you. And speaking of time, they have meals that take about 30 minutes to cook, but they have quick and easy meals. Some of them about 15 minutes. So if you sit up here saying, yeah, you know, I can cook, but that takes a long time. You got no excuse. They got these meals that are very quick to whip up if that's for you. And they have a meal that is available for any kind of lifestyle. If you if you are 
keto uh what name another one what oh uh vegan vegan keto uh you, you got dietary needs like no gluten you know they don't worry about it they got you there too and saving money time is money but saving money man uh it is cheaper than definitely cheaper than takeout oh yeah they have a lot of a variety here. 45 weekly recipes, over 100 curated meals that you can pick up from the HelloFresh market. And on top of that, uh, they also have things such as, I say dinners, but they also have lunches, snacks. That's where the parties come in. If you want some <laughs> snacks right there, they even got breakfast for you. That'll all be delivered along your weekly box. Uh, people, have I told you... Uh, Enough about HelloFresh to want you to participate in this. Get this. Some of you are acting right now. Some of you are already reaching for the keyboard. Stop. <laughs> Stop. See, don't be in a rush because I got something else for you. Uh, in addition to all that stuff that I just told you, here's what's really going to whet your appetite. <laughs> and talking about saving money. I got a bargain for you. Go to HelloFresh.com slash double toasted free. If you use that code, you'll get free. Listen to this. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Free I'm breakfast listening. for life. What? If you go to HelloFresh.com/slash Double Toasted Free, free breakfast for life. You heard me. Forever. For life. Ever. 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 Uh, ever. 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 All you gotta do is put that code in, and one breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. All you gotta do is put in that code. H E L L O F R E S H dot com slash D O U B L E T O A S T E D F R E E. You put that code double toasted free in when you get there and get that free breakfast for life. You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, they say. Yeah. Gets you started. Gets you started. And now you can get started for free on us. Yes. <laughs> on HelloFresh. Uh -huh. America's number one meal kit. Uh, I want to thank them for sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank you out there. For all of your support. So I was talking about. I'm a little biased because I do like the dumb comedy out there. You know, I'm a big I'm a big fan of those stooges. How's it feel now? All right. That's good. <laughs> you know, I love that dumb stuff right there. And this this is uh, along that tradition. But I was saying that there are some good things in this movie that I think even if you hate this, you kind of have to sit back and say, all right, you know what? At least that was good right there. One of the things that uh, I think is good in here are some of the uh, the actors that we have right here. I was really in, impressed with uh, uh, Lil Rel uh, Howery. Uh, I'm not familiar with how to pronounce his name. Lil Rel Howery. I'm gonna oh, say okay. that, but he was from uh, he was from Get Out. Oh so yeah, that's first right. Knew he him from that. that. Yeah, he lost some weight. Looks good, but man, he is funny. Yeah, he was good. He's very funny in this movie. Uh, who, who is the, uh, the evil, the evil corporate woman, man? Forgot her name. I know she's, uh, oh, she's, 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 she's in, in everything. Isn't she, is she also, she's the actress who's in, uh, what's it called? Workaholics. Yeah. No. Yeah. She's, uh, she's, uh, uh, what's her name? Jillian Bell, man. She's really funny. She's always funny to me though. Uh, also, I mean, this just sort of, a, a creativity that they apply here that I wouldn't expect them to do. You know, uh, imagine Pee Wee's Playhouse mm -hmm. and the creativity that went behind that. It's a very colorful film. You know, they have some really fun imagery in here for its budget because it's not a high budget movie out there. You know, if I, surprise, surprise. No, but they I, use their budget well. They do. Even the movie opens up with uh, puppets of uh, fast food coming to life. I was, uh, I sent you a link. I, tr I forgot to mention it before, but I sent you a link of Timmy the Tooth. Because that's what those French fries in there reminded me of. They got these weird eyes, you know, with pupils and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the 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 set design and and a lot of the art direction is a lot of fun here. Uh, you know, and I, I admire what they're doing here with certain characters, man. Uh, you know, uh, I like the twist in the movie. Like they, like, you know, they, it's, it, listen, the movie's a sequel. Okay. Yeah. Through and through. It repeats the first movie nonstop, even with stuff that doesn't end up leading to anything. It's almost None. like they, in the trailer, you showed like a car crash thing that leads to nothing. No. 
It does nothing, but it, you know, it's a sequel. It's but a sequel. It's reminiscent. Movie. The reason I pointed out it's reminiscent of the first movie, right? Because that's what gets the story uh, rolling. Oh, where yeah. he has that car crash with Sinbad. But they don't follow through with anything. Yeah, here. exactly. It's a, man, it's a sequel movie. You know, it's a sequel plot. You know, uh, with, with movies like this, what do they do? They just we need a reason to keep, keep it going. Oh, an uh, evil corporation wants to take over the the uh, the, the good burger. You know, it's it's, it's very simple. Uh, nothing big. It's, in fact, it's probably downright lazy when it comes down to sequels. <laughs> but what they do with the characters is pretty fun. Uh, uh, Keenan Thompson as as Dexter. I like the way that he came in and he went from being like you know the straight guy in the first movie and being the straight guy here, but also. When he comes in, he's just a con man. Yeah, he you know he ripped off his uh, he ripped off his sister for, for like thousands of dollars for some stupid ass idea that never worked. And he's <laughs> yeah. and in the movie he's trying to rip off uh, 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 Ed. Yeah, again, again. Yeah, he's not a very good guy here, man. He's a kind of an asshole. I like that they actually you know <laughs> took that route, man. And uh, thing is, he loses everything because of his dumb idea. And it's funny because he's the smart one. But he's smart. Yeah, well, yeah, but he is he ends up being dumber than Ed. Yeah. Thing is, it's funny because he loses everything and has to go live with Ed. Meanwhile, <laughs> Ed, the dumbass, owns his own restaurant, lives he, in this lives in this nice house. And furthermore, <laughs> the running joke with him is that how can a guy this stupid even survive? Not only is he surviving, but he's breeding. He's thriving. He's th he's got like a family. Yeah. He's got like kids. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got a dog. Yeah, he's got a dog and they all dress alike, you know, but <laughs> and a babysitter. Like this guy's winning. Yeah. Meanwhile, the straight guy's out there lost everything. Has to move in with him. <laughs> Kel Mitchell, man. Listen, this is the role of his life, man. He loves his character. That's he what does. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You know, when you see actors just embrace something, even stupid, it's like, all right, you you clearly love this character. You're having fun. I'm kind of having fun with you. Yeah. When when they care like that, it, it makes it enjoyable. Yeah. And the movie, you know, uh, uh, it's it's not, it's just as as much physical humor that there is in here. It's not really mean spirited. No. Like like Ed might be a dumbass, but you like Ed because he has a great heart. Yeah. You know, he's a character that's hard. He's annoying. I can understand people not liking him, but you got to admit, you know, there's something about how, again, how pure and kind he is. It's like, ah, man, I, this guy, but I can't, I like you. And, and the movie acknowledges it constantly. Like it acknowledges that he's crazy and that, <laughs> yeah. and that he's bugging people. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's a nuisance, man. But, you know, I mean, like I said, he's assaulting his customers, you know, but it's still something about his innocence that makes you like him, at least for me. Um, like I said, besides a painful fart joke and uh, really. There's only one. And I was impressed that they didn't have a fart joke. but And they went as far to mention like fart jokes. I was like, oh, here we go. At least they didn't do it. Never mind. They just did it. Well, it gets to a moment where I just, you know, listen, the movie's done. It's just they're in the third act. And by the time they start introducing like a robot, Ed, it's like, all right, you know, this is where the fart jokes come in. This is where the movie starts to go downhill. It's like even as much as I support this film, it's like, man, you got nothing left. You're mm -hmm. done. You know, there's nothing left for you to do. That Now this is where the movie is the movie that I was kind of dreading. It would mm -hmm. be you've gone on way too long right here. Uh, yeah, this is falling off a cliff. But, you know, uh, for the most part, though, besides, you know, the end of this movie, like just completely just going off the rails, a sexual innuendo, a fart joke that is very bad in here. I just hated it, man. It's a very innocent movie, man. Oh, you yeah. Know? Uh, it's uh, and again, it's something where like like a day like today, you know, if you got Paramount Plus, you might not like it, but it's worth it for the kids, especially if they like the first one. Or you get a new crop of kids who are discovering this. Let's just say you're a parent from back in the day and you love Good Burger, man. Think about watching this with your kids now. You watch Good Burger 2, uh, you know, you're telling your kids, you know, all the references and whatnot. It's something that can be enjoyed on that level also. Yeah. And even if grandpa's in the room, he'll be like, oh, that's a guy from Shark Tank. You know, like they they have yeah. a lot of cameos in there that will appeal to a wide spread of people, which the first one did, too. Yeah, man, I was surprised. I'm not going to mention any of them, but I was surprised. And it's probably because of of a connection between uh, with one actor in the movie. Man, you don't. It's not a spoiler, man. Less than five minutes out the gate, they're like, "Here's one. Here's another." Like, there's a lot of huge cameos yeah. instantly. A lot of big cameos, and they must have got these people because their kids loved all that of the first Good Burger. Are oh, they 
Or they worked with these people. You know, there's a lot of, man, I'm not just talking about like actors. I'm talking about business people and, you know, it's legendary musicians. Yeah. Yeah. Are you not going to pull up that? I'm going to, I'm going to spoil one cameo for y'all. And this is a cameo. That's a reference to the first one because this, this look crazy. Yeah. George Clinton, funk, P funk, you know, funk master, uh, funkadelic George Clinton. He was in the first movie. I think he, he was in a, he did do a cam in the first movie. I, I don't remember it. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but I was hoping that you would enlighten me. Well, he's, uh, uh yeah, he was in the first one, man. Uh, yeah. Here, I'll show you a picture of, uh, cause you've seen him before. You just don't know. Uh, let me see here. George Clinton. Yeah, this is, uh, this, this is George Clinton right here, man. Uh, Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee okay. yeah bow wow yippee bow, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah okay that way all right that's George Clinton Funk Master George Clinton right here he looks he, awesome yeah I've seen him in concert a few times man uh yeah he was in the he was in the first movie wow he, he comes back to make a cameo right here and it looks crazy he looks insane they had him they had him sing and he lifted his head up and I don't know what kind of spotlight they had on his face but. He had afros in his nostrils, man. Look at that hair right there. Yeah, he he definitely. I still see it. He looks like Martin Lawrence. He looks like a he looks like a old Martin Lawrence. <laughs> when, when, he could look like Don King is coming out of his nostrils yeah, right there, like, man. And he's really quick the way that they throw him in there. I was just like, what the hell was yeah. that? Because uh, let me tell you, that is definitely not the best his singing has ever been. It looked like two possums took uh, took refuge in his nose. <laughs> and it sounded like that too. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at all. <laughs> look at that hair in his nose, man. I guess the maybe I'm talking about it because the surprise of it all. Man, I saw this trailer and I was giggling at it, but I was like, "That's gonna be it. I'm not gonna laugh at anything else when I watch this movie." And I still feel weird because a lot of this movie annoyed the shadow of me. <laughs> it really did. And a lot of it had me rolling my eyes. But for some reason, I walked away saying, I cannot be mad at you. And I want to be. And even some of the moments that would make you roll your eyes, because I was right there with you, someone would react in the movie to something that was said or done, and it would make me laugh. Yeah. I'm pissed off in a way that I'm, I, 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 I like this movie. But I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. I just Maybe it's because, like I said, Maybe I'm I'm the straight guy here, mm -hmm. and this movie's the the you know the lovable the dumbass silly buffoon. Yeah, and I'm just like my you, but I'm just but I. <laughs> but when it's all said and done, I'm still around for it. Yeah, you know? it's it's nice to have a movie that's like a machine gun of comedy, where it's not all the jokes are gonna hit, but every once in a while it'll hit you in the funny bone. Yeah, yeah. So I, I give it like a. Uh, and this is really for the audience that is sticking with this, who love the first one, grew up with it, watching this, new kids that are watching this. It's a really, very, very low uh, matinee. But uh, I'm, I'm exactly there with you. This movie, I, I never really understood when people talked about nostalgia, mm -hmm. what that, what that feeling was like. But watching this, because I grew up on Good Burger, I had a VHS and I wore that out and this movie i i just i felt that nostalgia i was like wow I'm, I'm getting to see more of this and more of these characters and they're committed to it so i i definitely give it a low matinee too i would say a lot of people jumping on my ass right right now what the hell is wrong with you really this had if this had been will ferrell and john c riley you would have hated this well, I, that's I, I don't know different. what to tell you yeah i, I mean what I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all i mean hey look get mad at me I, I don't know what to tell you you know i i'm giving you my honest opinion i'm not gonna lie I'm not going to sit up here and act like I, you know, look down this movie to please y'all. I'm giving you a real honest opinion. I don't know. I ain't tend to watch. It. Listen, I'm already mad at myself. OK. All right. Don't don't make me don't make me feel any worse than I do. And if people are like get mad, we can get into the nitty gritty. We didn't mention like some of the details. Like I found a couple of mistakes that stood out. Yeah. Like there's some stunts where like, you know, they show one person doing something. And then when they show the stunt happening, it's clearly not that person. I almost saw that's part of the joke. <laughs> but exactly. Yeah. And that's kind of funny. But there was one mistake that I mentioned to you. Uh, that stood out to me as someone who's worked in restaurants for years. I mean, I'm wearing my Good Burger uniform. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I, didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought you were wearing like a nice shirt. <laughs> no, no, I wore this because it's a Good Burger uniform. But there's one part where they show the kitchen. And for anyone who's worked in a burger joint or something like that, you know, sometimes there's food for the people who work there, but that will never be in the front. And why the hell were there tortilla chips at the burger joint? 
Never would happen. That's a mistake. Okay, I told him to hold that thought. That's where I got to draw the line with you. Out of all the dumb shit in this movie, <laughs> out of look at me yeah, now. Look I'm at, looking. Out of all the ridiculous shit in this movie, yeah, they wouldn't have chips at a burger you, place. You, you, you are <laughs> obsessing on the goddamn chips. Yeah, that's what you noticed. Yeah, that's wrong. That is. <laughs> You that know, shouldn't be there. You know what? I changed my mind. This is some old bullshit. <laughs> all right, you got me. This, boy, you out of all the shit in this movie. No wonder you this were like, is good, hold that thought. Th- we're downstairs and I said, you just don't say another word to me. Hold that thought. This is Good Burger 2. Loaded with dumb shit. And this is you, the chips. <laughs> yeah. That's what you look. That's that's what got you. Yeah. That's what you're looking for realism. That's not supposed to be there. And another thing that got me was uh, the music. In most cases, mm. I did not care for. But there was that one song that I sent you a link for that they remixed that I really mm. enjoyed in there. The hamburger cheeseburger whopper. They they use that. They create their own uh, song for that in this movie. Actually, I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> Welcome. May I take your order, please? Humber, humber, humburger, cheeseburger. You know, that's another thing. <laughs> that's silly you know, let me too. tell you, leave it up to you, man. Like I heard that in the movie, and I thought, oh, that's just a funny song. This fool went and did research. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, where's that from? Because I thought it was a TikTok thing. He, his fool went and like he, he, he went out and searched for this. I, right I stole your time machine, that music time machine. <laughs> I went down the stupid road. Yeah, you. <laughs> You went out and we, you were on a quest to find this dumb shit. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Whopper, Whopper, Whopper. It's like, Alex, what the hell is this? Yeah, I mean, they use that in the movie. They remix it. It's almost unrecognizable in the movie, but it's in there. <laughs> it is in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, folks, you see, little touches like that. Yeah, I like that uh, stuff. Listen, y'all, again, I already feel like I admit it, like I just slept with a whore. Talk, you know, telling y'all that I like this. All right, don't make me feel worse than I already do. Just let me, you know, just, just let's just agree to disagree. If you think this is stupid, it's not for you. Okay, I, it's, it's really not for me. But I was there, and being I was there and watched it, I'm like, okay, I for some reason, I'm I'm okay with it being there. I'm okay with it existing. I'm okay with people watching it who really like this kind of thing. Yes, and low low matinee. I'm sorry. I, I you know, for those who don't like it, I'm sorry. Two more things though that I want to mention is like at something that they did that I appreciate that I mentioned to you before we started. They they harken back to that classic Nickelodeon of like having gross stuff and and slime being in there, and and I appreciated that. Because slime has a long history with Nickelodeon. Like, it felt like like true Nickelodeon cinema. Yeah, listen, people, I, I, I feel like this right now. I feel dirty. <laughs> I'm not, and I shouldn't. I feel, dis- I feel dirty. A movie feel, coming in your face. I, I feel violated. I'm like, I'm like, like I'm, I feel like I betrayed myself talking about this and saying I liked it. But for some reason, I have to be honest with you, and I did. So I don't know what to tell you. You know, let's just, you know, let's just, let's, let's, let, let me, fin- let me wrap this up. Let's get about, we even talk about this, okay? Okay.